We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna go ahead and shout out at Nat Fantastic One. So she's one of the first ones to send me this story and yes, it is coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida, okay? So what's going down is that once again, we have another case, honey, of two women fighting over a ratchet ass man, okay? So if you guys remember back in 2013, I had did a video, came from Trifon, Texas, about a woman named Cheryl Hunter, okay? And Cheryl Hunter was upset because her man had gotten another woman pregnant and she ran over that pregnant woman and they ended up having to amputate her leg, okay? So this was in 2013, the situation went viral across social media, um, Cheryl is now in prison. We're well, now fast forward to 2017 and we have another case of the same ratchetness, but this time it's coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida, okay? So what's going down is this. So we have a woman named Kenesha McCordia and basically her and another woman named Ashley Witherspoon, they're fighting over this 32 year old jailbird, honey. His name is Marco Mack, okay? So they're fighting over Marco. Cause Sheena feels like that's her man and this Ashley chick needs to bag back. So they have been beefing back and forth. I guess, you know, Mr. Mac was macking on Valentine's Day to his side chick. Kanisha found out about it. She rolls over there and ends up running this girl over. Damn near kills her. And once again, her leg has to be amputated. If this ain't some shit from 2013, I don't know what is. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, here's where it all went down. This was Monday night, uh, about 11.55, just five minutes before Valentine's Day. It's right here where love went all wrong. Let's take a look. Blurred video, a love triangle, two women dating the same man. They argue. The victim falls out of a car. The aggressor in this confrontation runs over the victim on purpose. Ashley Weatherspoon rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Her leg is amputated. Charged with second degree attempted murder, the driver of the car, Kashina Sonia Mordica. She's also charged with leaving the scene of an accident. Police say she did not attempt to render aid to the victim. Hello? No one answering at Kashina Sonia Mordica's listed address. Gate locked. This is the object of both women's affection. 32 year old Marco Ezra Mack. He apparently the cause of the dispute, but not involved in the actual confrontation. Cops bust him anyway on an outstanding warrant. Burglary, grand theft. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know what she wants she want right now. Relatives of the injured woman, Ashley Weatherspoon, tight-lipped about the incident, hoping for the best for their loved one, who lost her leg. Kashina Sonia Mordica makes bond out of jail. Marco Ezra Mack, he's still in jail. Well, relatives of the injured woman say she's doing as well as expected, facing months of rehabilitation, learning to walk on an artificial limb. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News. Back to you. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. And like I said, the whole situation to me is just ratchet and really damn ridiculous, okay? You know, they're sitting over here fighting over this man. You know, now this girl, Kashina, is about to go to prison for the next however many years. The other woman, Ashley, is now, you know, an amputee missing a leg. You know, this is insane. It's not like she was in Iraq fighting. She's missing a leg over some man who was not involved in any of this. So he's going to be out and he's going to be free to go out and be with other females. Because you think he's going to stay with a woman with one leg? No, he's going to move the fuck on. He's not going to be writing Kashina while she's in jail. You guys are fighting over a jailbird and now both of y'all's lives have been wrecked behind a man. You know, the whole situation to me just makes no damn sense. What's so damn ever? I don't know when these women are going to learn. Even with the situation down in Texas, I remember when they were interviewing the boyfriend who the fight was over, he was laughing about the situation like this shit was funny. Search for a woman accused of running over a romantic rival, then driving off. The women were apparently arguing over a man. Both of them are pregnant and both say he's the father. Now one woman is in the hospital, the other on the run. Our Tiffany Craig is live in the medical center with the new details. Tiff? Yeah, we're told that baby is expected to be okay, but the woman carrying that child, not so much. She is in the hospital behind me after getting a leg amputated. Excuse me, a foot amputated. It's sad. Betty Polk it is still it's shaking not. her head after well, seeing the aftermath of a fight between two pregnant women. Oh, I'm getting sick here now. It all started when Sherelle Hunter showed up at Chris Cheney's house. 
That's her ex-boyfriend. And his new girlfriend, Elise Kelly, was there. They just don't like each other. I don't know if it's because of me or what. But Chances are it is. You think it's because of you, getting them pregnant? I mean, I am handsome. <laughs> Cheney is most likely the father of both women's unborn babies. I mean, they basically want to fight each other, and one didn't, didn't really want to fight because they both was pregnant, and she backed up and drove into my house. Police say Hunter used her ex-boyfriend's car that looks like this to ram into Kelly, pinning her up against the house, breaking at least one of her legs, and forcing doctors to amputate one of her feet. What I see, uh, two baby mamas going into it, one hit the other one and drove into the wall. All right, a lot of people saw what happened. Betty Polk can't get it out of her head. Right now, we just have to pray that her and everybody else that's involved is be all right. And I'm like, your baby's mother is now missing the leg. Your other girlfriend is about to be in jail for the next few years. And you find it funny that two women are fighting over you. You know, so the whole situation is crazy. But I blame both of these women for fighting over some guy who's probably messing around with the third female on the side any damn way. Okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy-ass Valentine's Day situation, honey. That's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. All right. Deuces. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.